this is insane weather. I just had such a frightening experience. I'm stopped at the minute, obviously, in McDonald's, obviously. Collecting coffee, no hash browns today. Um, but driving along, literally just left my dad. Thank you very much. Don't ask me why I have to get two black coffees. It's just part of my, maybe things have to come in twos. Anyway, <clears throat> I was just driving from on the ring road, it's a dual carriageway. There was so much water on it. There was a lorry in front of me that everything, I, I had no visibility whatsoever whilst doing about 50 miles an hour, knowing that there's a lorry in front of me, but not knowing had it stopped? Had everybody stopped? Why was it? There was so much water on the road. I'm supposed to be going to the dog park. I just don't feel like there's any point. So even though I've booked it, they're just going to get out the van and get straight back in again, especially poor Lucy Lou. I just had to break so hard as well that I'm worried about Daphne, bless her, in the front. Because despite the fact that she wears a seatbelt, it's still a jolt. So I don't think I'm even going to bother. I think I'm just going to go and get my click and collect. I'm just going to go and get my click and collect. And then go home. I was going to go and check on the boat. I just don't think it's safe. So I'm going to message my neighbour at the marina and ask them if they'll just keep an eye on the ropes. The ropes are on poles that have got rings on the pole so you tie your boat to the ring and then the ring slides up and down these poles so depending on how high the marina goes I might need my ropes adjusting but I will message my neighbour because it's just not safe it's not safe and it's so dark so we got back home we didn't go to the dog park at all uh, I just went and picked up my shopping. I just want to show you what my AD... I think it's ADHD in food. So it goes in cycles. Um, and at the minute, I am incapable of making myself a plate of food more than about once a week. These are my current new addiction. Um, so I kind of thought at least it's food and it's not crisps I don't know if it's much better than not it's not crisps it's only just food these are all a vegan even though they've got chicken flavour <laughs> uh, so yeah as you can see four chicken flavoured super noodles Four curry flavoured super noodles just to shake things up a bit. Four vegetable flavour noodles with some itsu. Oh, I've tried a new one rice satay noodles just to, you know. So I've got a varied diet. What have we got? So yeah, I've got some more, you know, because I have to, I bought four, so I had to buy four of all of them. Four chicken, four curry, four vegetable. So that's pretty much, you know, my next three weeks worth of eating is going to be doodles. I need to find a way to insert vegetables. <laughs> I'm a big fan of... Um, tins of um, mushrooms because they're pre-cooked so you're literally just heating them up so that is like vegetables <laughs> so that's good you've got you know close Friday you have to have a treat on a Friday more noodles and uh, More noodles. Pretty noodly at the minute I am. Pretty much a noodle face. 
Oh, so it's not too bad, Carl. I've got some finanas. Got some finanas. Oh no, just as you know, noodles, really. Got some noodles. Just in case I run out of noodles, I've got some more noodles. So that's good. So I've pretty much got all the main food groups represented higher. So this is my cupboard in the house. This is the kitchen, right? Cupboards, 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 cupboards. That's the dog's cupboard. What? That's my cupboard with a shelf for the dogs at the top. Why? That's the recycling. So, yeah, my cupboard's looking pretty full. Pretty unhealthy. <laughs> ADHD eating patterns. I think it might be a thing. But because it's Friday, why? <laughs> Got myself some caramelised onion hummus. This is the problem with all the rain. How will people get to get their hummus? I'm lucky. I've picked up some hummus, but only one day's supply of hummus. Which is, one day's supply is two pots, because I have to eat things in twos. Which is quite weird. But what? <laughs> and thank you for uh, tuning into my channel, Shopping with Bex. It will go odd. There you go. That's some shopping. And that's Bex. Tune in next week for Noodle Geddon. I can't make it noodle noodles. Strago, fundamentalist revolutionary, trained in Syria, fought in Senegal, an expert in spe So this is um my little bathroom. Um, well, it's actually off my brother's room, so it's his ensuite that I use when he's not here. So I'm just using this. Oh, oh. Sorry if you're making you feel dizzy. I've never used this um, bleach before. And despite the fact that I shave the sides of my head, I've found that if I don't dye them as well, that it still looks really, really dark. It's almost like it bleaches my actual skin, which is probably what's happening. Have a look at the back. Yep. So I've just splodged it all on. Splodge, splodge, splodge. What's really good about it is that it came with two bleaching sachets and one peroxide. Normally I have to kind of judge half and half because I obviously my hair's that short, I don't need the full thing. So what, that was really good. I just had to measure the peroxide. Oh, oh. really difficult to work that out. I don't know if it's covered. Anyway, between 20 and 60, I won't leave it that long. Medium to dark blonde, that's not me. Light brown, I'm medium to dark brown, so it says 20 to 80 minutes. I am not leaving this on for 80 minutes. There will be no hair left. So while my hair's just waiting, um, just developing. Don't give you an update on my nails. So I redid my nails, if you remember, two weeks ago uh, and didn't get the immediate 
allergic reaction to everything. I wore UV gloves and covered my hands in a factor 60, I think it was, sun cream. Since then, I don't know if you'd be able to see because of the... But all the skin at the ends of my fingers went rock hard and has fallen off. A lot of the skin around the sides has fallen off. And I don't know if you can see, particularly in that one, my nail has started to come away from the nail bed that one as well so you can see with the the way that the shape is the white um, end of nail goes down a lot further than it ever used to now because it's coming away from the nail bed and all the ends of my fingers this one has got a split along it at the minute because it really literally a week ago randomly started itching but all the skin off the ends of my fingers went crispy came off on both hands i don't know whether you'll be able to see you could kind of see on that one um and you can see again my ring finger in particular the nail has started to come away from the nail bed so it's quite put me off So the nails themselves aren't that damaged, for, even from wearing um, like fake stuff on them, whatever it's called, build gel. The nails aren't that damaged, but the skin all around, like my cuticles all fell off <laughs> quite randomly. Just all, all the edges of my nails peeled off. Um, I may have one last go because the nails themselves didn't stay on very long. I hadn't prepped as carefully because I was so nervous about them coming off and, and having an allergic reaction. So I hadn't prepped as carefully. Because I am taking vegan collagen and I know Kirsten, for example, said that her nails are really strong since she's been taking vegan collagen. So I may just use, I'm definitely going to use normal nail polish. It's whether I use any kind of gel or anything that needs any UV curing. Because they're not good. I had to wear plasters over the ends of these two fingers last week because they were so sore. These two fingers this week have been so sore. There's a split there. And you can... I don't know whether you can see. Anyway, so that's the update on my nails. And from using UV lights, I guess not everybody will always have it, but for some reason I started having an allergic reaction. And now I don't think I'll ever be able to do it again. Boo! Anyway, this hair dye has been on for only like 10 beanies. And it's looking pretty. It on bond and starting to be a bit itchy pitchy I think when I do that I look like that is it a maker out of Ice Age well, that's weird I look like I've got a face filter on and not in a wood way catch you later